Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In today's video, I want to find out how much of a difference different speakers make in your guitar cabinet. Now, today we're going to be using the Grossman Fat Cab, and we're going to be trying three different speakers. All are going to be Celestian speakers. We're going to be using a Celestian Alnico Gold. We're going to be using a Celestian Creamback. That is the ceramic magnet. Celestian and we're also going to be using the Celestian Neo Creamback. Now the Neo Creamback is a Neodymium Creamback. It weighs half the weight of the standard ceramic speaker. So in this video I want to see how much of a difference all these speakers make. Every time we use these speakers we're going to be using the same guitar, same effects, same amplifier, same exact mic position. So everything should be exactly the same and we can really hear the difference between all three of the speakers. So first of all, I've got the Creamback Neodymium speaker in the Grossman cab, and it sounds like this. So that's for the speaker cleaner. If I switch onto the dirty channel on the amp. The Neodymium speaker is sold as a lighter alternative, but that's a great sounding speaker. Now let's record a guitar part using the Neodymium Creamback speaker. Now let's replace the neodymium speaker with a normal ceramic greenback. Now what I'm going to do here is to have the microphones in exactly the same position. So, so all I've got to do with this Grossman cab is to move these microphones here. And I've actually got to physically take this off because this SM7B is a little bit lower in the cabinet than, uh, and doesn't really allow me just to move it over. So all I have to do is just to unscrew the bolts here. Now this speaker is incredibly light. Unplug the banana plugs. And then plug them in. Drop it back into the cab. Now I've got markings on the cab so I know exactly where the microphones were, Get this one back. And then we're done. So now we've got the ceramic cream back in. Sounds like this. Now 
I don't know if it's just me, but personally, I prefer the sound of the Neo one. This one sounds actually less full. It hasn't got as much sort of low, mid and bottom end as the, as the Neo speaker. Okay, let's try it distorted. Now it sounds good, but I still prefer the Neo speaker, but let's go for a different take recording with the ceramic cream back. Lastly, we're going to be trying this Celestian Gold speaker. Now, I think this is Celestian's most expensive speaker. I think it retails for about 225 British pounds. So it's really up there uh, price wise. Now, this is an Alnico magnet. So we've tried out a neodymium magnet, a ceramic magnet, and this is the Alnico one. So let's see if the price matches the performance. Now that's really interesting because it's got a much brighter sort of top end. It's not harsh, it's just got this really nice clarity to the top end. And now let's hear it overdriven. So it's really nice, as I said, it's got lots of top end. Might not be as suitable for overdriven sounds, but all of these speakers have come fresh out of the box. They haven't really been worn in. So I think Celestian recommends a sort of wearing in period where the speaker gets used and then it sort of becomes, I guess, more malleable, softer, and the speaker cone moves in the way it should be. But we're hearing all of these speakers, you know, coming straight out of the box. So let's go for a take and see how it sounds in the track.
just want to say thanks to Celestian for providing the speakers for this test. It's been really interesting and I now know what speakers that I need for this cabinet because ideally you need more than one speaker. You need the gold for that top end clarity for when you're doing that, that sort of focused guitar part that's, that really wants to stand out and you really need that top end sizzle. For the more sort of distorted guitar tones, I definitely prefer the cream back. And out of the two cream backs, my preference is actually the Neo cream back. And that's surprising because the Neo cream back is actually designed as a sort of weight saving speaker, but it sounds absolutely fantastic. Anyway, I really hope you guys got something out of this. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button, and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.